Um, Major Hanji Zoe? <laughs> Don't worry. She doesn't bite. We'll take the shackles off as soon as we can, okay? As soon as we're safe. Marco, was it? Uh, um, yes, sir. Don't look Major Zoe in the eye for more than five seconds. Always nod when she makes a statement. And if she goes off on a tangent, don't say anything. I'll handle it from there. What? Marco Bot, the name of a soldier once believed to be deceased, now stands in front of Captain Levi's recon squad. After being revealed in the form of a titan himself, Dazed and confused, the new shifter himself is yet to disclose any information on this controversial reunion. How is he still alive, and how did he acquire such extraordinary abilities akin to Eren Yeager's? Despite Marco's current lack of answers, the Survey Corps would admittedly seek the solution, regardless of the means. <laughs> oh dear. Where is he? Where's my darling new specimen? Um... Captain Levi? <sighs> I'll keep the Kraken from prying you open. Remember what I said. I've come for you, my darling! <laughs> oh, 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 my apologies. <clears throat> that was not Marco Bot. <laughs> Not now, Copperhead. I don't need any mushy imagery of you and that weird tithing loving freak shutting my stomach before supper. Shut the hell up, horse face. The Major is an open minded individual who should be respected for her interests. <laughs> You're both weirdos. Make the wackiest couple in the whole survey corps. Oh, I take that as a compliment. You think so? Both of you shut up already. Are you guys five? <sighs> I know Major Zoe is difficult to understand at times, but she's really not that bad. She's not the most socially adept person, but she works very hard to unravel the mysteries of the Titan's existence, after all. I don't blame you for admiring her so much, Nevea. <sighs> she's perfect. John Boy over there just doesn't appreciate the intellect. I don't even know why you're here bickering, Kirstein. You should have been interrogated right there next to that freckled threat. There's no telling when he'll turn on us. Don't talk like you fucking know him, Dursilla. You don't know what he's been through. What any of us have been through. You weren't there. Guys, please don't start this again. Yeah, can we just drop it? We've been through some hard times, but we've not... No, Jean's right. I was too busy seeing my whole fucking unit eaten alive by those bastard titans. Unless you forget, that female titan was in your graduating class, and look how she turned out. Do you really expect me? To trust that none of you little shits are capable of the same fucking terror? Nevea, we've all endured losses during the attacks. Your hardship isn't any more significant than anyone else's. That goes for you too, John. But... but he is right. We can't judge Marco's situation yet. We barely know anything about what happened to him. We're not all like... like her. But at least this time we have a chance to find out what's going on with Marco. I don't need to hear this from you, Titan Shifter! You're just as suspicious, and we all know what you almost oh, did Oh, please! Do you think I'm going to sit here and listen to the both of you talk shit about people you don't know anything about? Hey, guys, this really isn't the time for this. Just shut the hell up and get back to cleaning. Before Captain Levi hears you yelling, and loses it when he sees we're slacking off. Yeah, unless you fancy some more bruises to go with that freckled face to show up. <laughs> You're awfully familiar with those roundhouse kicks of his, after all. How dare you! You want to say that again, pony boy? Um... <clears throat> the sun's already setting, and we still have three more rooms to sweep and scrub. I think we're finished arguing for now, guys. It's unbecoming. Right! We'd, uh, stay positive, you know? Let's split the rest of the chores, okay? That sounds like a great idea. Nevea, you can help Golomar with one of the rooms, and Jean and Krista can finish the other while Aaron and I tackle the last one. Okay? S screw this. I'm not sitting here any longer wallowing in this ignorance. Wait! Nevea, it's not the right way! Where are you going? Jeez. It's hard to believe someone is accusing that as loud mouthed as she is. It's five, four years in the survey corps. Jean, that's enough! Don't let any of them get to you, Krista. Are you alright? 
Um, actually, I... Levi's not going to be happy about this fighting at all. I've already disappointed him so much today, and... If it weren't for Marco saving her, Petra would've... Krista, that wasn't your fault. You know that. She's alive, and that's all matter to her. Everyone makes mistakes. Aaron's right. I mean, you did kind of mess up pretty bad back there, and Major Al almost got eaten. But she still made it. Ugh, <sighs> Golmar, that... that wasn't the most appropriate response. There's my little clean freak! And... <gasps> Is that... my lovely new specimen? <gasps> oh, Levi! He's absolutely... <laughs> Back up, shitty glasses. You're not laying a finger on him tonight. What? What do you mean I'm not laying a finger on him? The boy's scared shitless. This isn't time for one of your little experiments. No. Levi, you bring me another Titan shifter, and you don't expect me to write a full observation? Where did he come from? How does the shifting mechanism work? What are his goals? His capabilities? No, you must let me have him! I've got to find out! <sighs> Marco Bot isn't some guinea pig for you to poke at. He's a frightened kid who's at the brink of hysterics. He doesn't know where this power comes from or how it works. And that's why I'm here! To find out! I can just taste the sweet revelation. <gasps> oh dear. Hanji, if I may? Tonight may not be the best night to conduct an observation on his abilities yet. So far, we can assume he isn't a direct threat. But if we push him too far, he may become catatonic. For all we know, his transformation could be triggered by fear. We can't risk an accident over you traumatizing the brat. Oh, what? Oh. Um. Where did you get this scar? Marco, was it? Oh, uh, this scar? I, uh, I don't remember exactly. Recently, we've discovered that Aaron Yeager has a regenerative ability. Not only do his wounds heal rapidly, but he is also able to reconstruct irreplaceable body parts, such as teeth and limbs. So how exactly did you get this scar? And why is it still present? Are not all shifters capable of this restoration? Oh, Levi, what do you think? I told you hey. to keep your filthy mitts off of him. Regenerative? That doesn't sound good. Marco, you're not in any trouble. We just need to find out anything we can about what happened to you. Believe me, we want to help you just as much as we need you. I... I remember running. Running through the thick stench of smoke. Smoke? In the wilds? Or is it- Don't interrupt him. Take your time, Bod. Relax. Don't you get it? We're the only ones who can stop this. This doesn't make any of this right! Do this! This goes against everything I know! Everything I believe! I should have known better than to trust you. <sighs> You're pathetic. What are you doing? I, 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 I can't do this. You're gonna kill me, aren't you? What? No, nobody's going to hurt you, Marco. I promise you're safe with us. But she wants me dead. She tried to get me killed. What did I do? She? Who are you referring to, Marco? Oh, you're not getting anywhere like this. Look, Marco. Nobody's going to put you in harm's way. As long as you don't endanger our own lives. She lied to me. Rush me. I do. What did I do wrong? Rush? <gasps> Levi. Could it be? What is he going on about? 
Are there more shifters then? <gasps> <sighs> we better give it a rest for tonight before he shits himself. If this woman tries to lay a finger on you, she has to go through us first. We won't let that happen. You have my word, Marco. <sighs> I'm sorry. Sorry I've been such a coward this whole time. No! So many answers left undiscovered! Levi, I am issuing a physical tomorrow from Marco Bot before we head back to HQ. <laughs> what? So he can stare the boy down with his massive eyebrows? <laughs> Hanji Zo! We'll be meeting with the commander before our departure to the walls. I need to record any details I can before then for a proper briefing. <laughs> oh, don't worry, my sweet freckled subject. You won't be in any notable pain. It's just a physical exam. <sighs> Lucky kid. Uh, fine. But if you freak him out any more than usual, I'll kick the shitty glasses right off your face, Four Eyes. We can't risk any accidents. You and Petra are dismissed for now. Very well, Captain. Krista will be here to have supper with you. Okay, Marco? Um, I'm not staying with the others, right? That's okay. Thank you. Lens will be keeping watch on you for the remainder of the evening. I've spoken with the other recruits, and she's least likely to stir up any trouble with you. You won't be seeing Kirstein or Descharlo tonight. I didn't want to dine with that flaky bastard anyway. What? Nivea, what are you doing here? You're not going anywhere, Ow. Ow. Stick off my Who hair. Who the hell do you think you are sticking Ow. your nose where it doesn't belong? Well, well, if it isn't moments, little torturer. I haven't seen you in a little while, Deshako. <laughs> Major Soy. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I didn't realize you were so busy and... Shit. Looks like I'm going to have to remind you of the penalties for eavesdropping, seeing as your brain's rotted after four years of service. <sighs> oh, Nivea. You should know better than that. I don't have a bitch all over from here. Petra, you stay with Marco and I'll straighten this out. Andre, you're dismissed. As for you... I'm seeing endless paperwork and horse shit in your future. Oh, well, you can't blame the girl for being so curious. I don't suppose the nickname Copperhead comes from her hair alone. It doesn't matter. As a subordinate, this is none of her business. Oh, but you've already overheard the conversation, haven't you, Nivea? I... I apologize. It won't happen again. Leshago, you may not be the most well-behaved of the Captain Squad, but you are often quite intuitive. Not to mention you are the only one who willingly sits down and contributes to my theoretical discussions. Ah, tell you what, how about having a cup of coffee with me tomorrow after Marco's physical? I'd love to hear your position on his abilities. You... you really want to discuss this with me? I, I, I mean, it really wasn't my business to begin with. I, I am not rewarding you for snooping around. <laughs> Well, Levi is right. You did break regulations, and we aren't going to pardon you for that. However, if you can finish your punishment and duties in time, then my offer still stands. <laughs> uh, of, of course! I'll do my best, Major. Until then, you've got a lot of papers to fill out this room, huh? and a week's worth of shoveling more shit. Most stones better to clean off to you. Ah, of course, Captain. I'll get your picnic area done quicker than you can say Titan feces. Make that two weeks. Report to my office immediately. <laughs> the hell are you staring at? Admit it. Admit what? You know. Come on. Admit it. I have no fucking clue what you're going on about, shitty glasses. You're jealous. Ugh, shut up. <laughs> Marco, why won't you talk to me about this? What the hell happened to you? Uh, John, I told you. 
uh, all I remember is a threatening voice and, and blue eyes. Blue eyes, huh? Oh, that sounds so familiar. Levi, do you think it could be? Oh, are you into fighting again? I hate how you remind me of someone, Dejolo. You share the same flaming hair and temper. I am not that person! I'm not anyone from anybody's past. Do you hear me? I'm not the person I was before. Wait, I remember now. Oh God, it really was her. That... No, I'm not going to be afraid anymore. I'll confront my past. It's going to storm soon. <laughs>